Girls, civil disobedience, and we're back with the latest on B. Simone and the situation with plagiarism in her book. I want you to subscribe to my channel, Sherlock Homegirl. Be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions below and make sure you share this information. And I just want to say I was in a group conversation because I love using the groups that I am on in Facebook land to help me here over in YouTube land on how to cover the information that I'm given. And the reason why I like to get the insight from other people is so that I don't bash a person. Have I was accused of bashing B. Simone. Now I would like to remind everybody that B. Simone was kind of the person who threw nine to five people under the bus by saying that her lifestyle was too complicated for a person who has to clock in and clock out. My last video, I merely pointed out that B. Simone, sweetheart, you're clocking in, in and out according to MTV and Nick Cannon's Wilding Out. So I'm not trying to hate on her. I'm not bashing her. I've never even spoken on her other than regarding warning other young ladies to not allow something so superficial as whether or not a man has to report for duty at a job stop you from finding true love you're limiting your love pool that's what i told her so i don't want anyone to feel like i'm trying to bash anybody however sis kind of opened herself up to wear she has received some criticism based on her $30 book. One, they're saying that the book is not well put together. It's not, you know, as far as the cohesiveness, the glue, the ability of the book to actually stay in book form. The pages are coming undone and that they're not glossed or embossed in a way to protect regular paper and that it basically looks like a scrapbook. So B. Simone made, basically made claims that the book is a workbook, so it's not supposed to be fancy. So after the book was opened by one of the consumers who purchased it, two bloggers in Instagram, Twitter world, they basically confronted her on cyber internet land and they were basically like, you know, this is our information. So she sold 48,000 copies of a book that she's now going to have to give this money to these women who are on platforms of their own. Okay, so she basically used their information to write her book. B. Simone released a statement saying that it's basically her team's fault. Now, I have to stop her right there. And again, I'm not bashing. I'm not bashing. Let me pick this phone up. I'm not bashing, ladies. What I am doing is merely pointing out first rule of entrepreneurship, own your own mistakes. Even if it's choosing the wrong people to be on your team, love, that's still your fault. Young ladies today have this idea where they can cry on anyone's shoulder when things aren't going well for them. But the moment you try to give them some type of insight on how things didn't go the way they planned, what they end up doing is getting hurt. That's the reason why you should let people help you prior to you speaking so much. Now, I know some people would say, her entrepreneur comment 
is in no way influenced by this information, but that's why you don't be that specific in a desire for a long term partner. Things change so quickly. I had to tell another friend of mine on Facebook, she's young, she doesn't have any children. And I remember being like her. I got married early. She was like, oh, I'm not going to get married until I'm 28 or 29. That doesn't stop divorce. So being an entrepreneur doesn't stop loss of financial gain. And this is what B. Simone had to learn. And so let's just say... You understand what I'm saying? And I call it surrender wine again. I don't have anything to drink, not even water today. Because as an older black woman, I don't consider myself old. But at 38, I consider myself old enough to give some good advice so that a young sister, black, white, whatever color you are, don't make the mistakes that I made. Being delusional was one of those mistakes that I made. I always use myself in my videos to explain why I think that's a mistake to do. I never try to bash a person. I never speak ill of a person. But B. Simone is a delusional sweetheart. She's a pretty girl. She's been able to force her way into a business platform that has been mostly male dominated. So I appreciate seeing her, whether she's one of my favorites or not. But when you start talking so direct on what you won't allow in your life anymore because you've moved to a new level, levels always, it's like an elevator. It goes up and then it goes down. It goes up and then it goes down. I had to pick that phone up just to let y'all know. It's not a bashing session. Learn to grow from your mistakes. And the first mistake you can make is being so specific in the type of man that you want in your life that you don't have the proper people around you helping you actually achieve, achieve the dreams that you have for yourself. So this is something that I've come to the conclusion of. I hope it works out for B. Simone in the long run. She gets whatever it is she wants. I just want everyone to learn when you open yourself up for the opinion of others, like, you know, you just have to be prepared for them. And if you don't like it, you can respond in kind, but don't act like people aren't going to say. And just like when you're speaking so directly in what it is you expect out of your life, in just that quick of a moment, B. Simone found out people will set you up for a disaster. Now, they're saying that her manager, B. Skittles or Miss Skittles or whomever, is somewhat of a con artist, perhaps. But in my opinion, it has to only do with what your name is on, not the people you surround yourself with. Because if you're more cautious, about the type of, of, of endorsements you take on in life. You're careful about the people you surround yourself with. So I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that B. Simone has basically allowed her vanity? The Because really, I mean, and that's what I be trying to tell people. This Insta fame is really cute. But it's it's worse than Hollywood fame because it's fleeting. It's fleeting. It's just in, in so many ways she gets, she lost followers because of the looting comment. I didn't see anything wrong with it. People were criticizing her about the nine to five thing. I don't see anyone criticizing. I feel like you're supposed to share with people and let them make their own decisions because people going to do that anyway. At the same time, we're finding so many young girls in situations like B. Simone's where they were talking a good game. Then all of a sudden, bam. And I know it was like that for me once upon a time. And what helped me not be so detrimental to one move in my life was listening to women who were secure where they were. Not just surrounding myself with young women who were my age that I could party with. But learning how to have lunch with my elders. Have lunch with a mentor. 
give my time to someone who could shape me past an education or a degree. So this is your girl, Civil Disobedience. Leave your thoughts and opinions below. Subscribe to Sherlock Home Girl. Peace.